what's going on guys look at this another brand new toyota model they're going crazy this year it seems like almost every month we have a brand new redesigned toyota or a brand new model such as this one this is 2025 toyota crown signia uh, this is replacing the outgoing toyota venza but it's a completely different vehicle and we're going to take you on a complete tour of this vehicle thanks to Gettle toyota of charlotte county in punta gorda florida so i'm going to take you on the tour of the exterior interior engine capacities electronics and the test drive and if you like watching videos like this don't forget to check out the rest of my channel hit that like and subscribe button and now let's get back to this So here it is guys what do you think about it i was never a big fan of the original crown now this one on the other hand is completely different i think it's going to fit the market a little bit better it's more of an uh, crossover kind of something between the sedan station wagon and the suv it has a lot of cool feature and in my opinion it looks a lot better let's check it out it has a very unique design as far as the lights we have the led daytime running lights and turn signals right on top headlamps at the bottom that seems to be the trend right now with a lot of different manufacturers now what's different about this this is more luxurious feel you see everything around the headlamps and down at the bottom is finished with the piano black versus like matte black or polished aluminum trim and we have this lexus like front grille not sure if i love it but hey this is not bad also this stripe in the middle that allows more air to get inside of the engine compartment we have the big toyota logo right on top and a nice and long hood now let's see what powers it up now let's check this out this hood open Ooh. No hood struts but underneath the hood 2.5 liter four cylinder engine assisted by three electric motors this is the newest hybrid system from toyota we have a total horsepower output of 240 made it to an uh, electronic continuously variable transmission this vehicle is an all-wheel drive we have several different uh, drive modes including the ev eco sport and i believe custom modes as well it has a great gas mileage 38 is the combined one 37 in the city and 39 on the expressway we're definitely going to check out how it drives at the end of this video and as we go around the corner taking a look at the side profile of this vehicle it's uh, important to mention the dimensions of it 194 is the total length of this vehicle it sits 6.7 inches off the ground that's your ground cleaners too 112.2 is your wheelbase as far as the height is 64 and it is 74 inches wide so uh, it's very similar to the outgoing uh, venza it's looking pretty good very luxurious kind of like a raised up station wagon which is the look that i miss i think it definitely has the place in the market let's see what this one is equipped with as far as the wheel and tires this one sits on 19 inch rims that come standard with the xle trim we have the bridgestone tires 225 by 55 is the size of it i like the design of the rims it combines that piano black that you see all over the vehicle with a polished aluminum trim speaking of that piano black you can see the wheel arches the bottom portion of the vehicle is all covered in piano black we also have the piano black mirror that includes the turn signals blind spot assist and the top portion of the windows and the pillars are also covered in that same paint we also have this brand new remote toyota crown in the back we have lock unlock hold for the gate and we have the proximity entry on all four door handles all you have to do is stick your hand inside of it to lock it put it against that to uh, unlock it or vice versa up on top we have the low profile roof rails and uh, here in the back we have this trim that piano black trim that uh, makes it uh, look like that uh, roof is floating basically and uh, here let's move over to the back of this vehicle because that's completely new 
very modern, very classy design. Kind of reminds me as far as the lights of the Lincoln maybe. But this is all LED light setup. We have this blade light that goes across the entire width of the vehicle. Kind of that smoky color inside of it. Also what's smoking is that crown for the Toyota and crown badges. And here we have the exposed wiper, third brake light, all LED and uh, gate spoiler. The bottom of this vehicle is finished in piano black, no visible exhaust. We have the reverse lights and reflector lights. If equipped with a tow hitch, this vehicle can tow up to 2,700 pounds. And uh, let's actually pop this gate open. Let's see as far as the roominess what we have. Power gate, even on this base model, we have two buttons, one to close it, one to lock it when you're walking away. We have the cargo cover, that's an optional equipment. 25.8 on this one and 24.8 if you go for the limit that of course cubic feet that's the cargo space that you have behind in this seat that are folding down by the way the 60 40 split and you don't have to even reach too far in order to do that there's two levers right here boom that's what happens that extends it to over 68 cubic feet of cargo space which is huge we have the cargo cover up on top that again uh, underneath here let's see what we have well, it seems like there is a space for spare tire, but there's no spare tire. We have the auxiliary battery, a little space maybe to hide something, and that's uh, about it. But plenty of room if you're not traveling with a group of kids and you don't need the third row seat. Let's see what's going on in the passenger compartment. But before we get inside, I usually get a lot of questions as far as where this vehicle is being made, what color it is. So let's take a look at the sticker right here. This is a 2025 Crown Signia S XLE. As far as uh, the price of it, total price 48,176. We'll go through that while well, on the interior of this vehicle. We already covered the gas mileage. 38 is the combined 3937. That's what we have in here. Where is this uh, vehicle? manufacturer it says final assembly point toyota aichi japan so this is a japanese built vehicle you can see i can lock it or unlock it one other thing i didn't show you is hey it's got that uh, power folding mirrors now i have it unfolded let's lock this vehicle boom they're folding in and unlock it and here's what you have now this is the soft tax trim but before we get inside let's take a look at this door panel i like the combination of this brown and um, the black color in here there's some piano black some smoked chrome so nice combination this is softer material this is of course soft and we have a little bit more storage at the bottom of uh, the seat as well now we have this brown color seats i'm not sure even what they call this brown but it's looking really good it's perforated in the middle now this is the man-made leather that's the soft text material we have the uh, cup holders inside of this armrest and both driver and passenger seats have some seat back storage we in the console we have the vents and two usb type c ports a big bump in the middle and uh, that's what we have for the interior here uh, let's see if i can fit behind myself and what I mean by that, I adjusted the front seat to my regular driving position. I am 5 foot and 11 inches, so almost 6 feet, and I have plenty of room. About 2 and a half inches in front of my knees before I would actually touch the back of the seat. I have probably about 3 to 4 inches above my head. Plenty of shoulder room. The seats are nice and soft, very comfortable, very Lexus-like. So plenty of room here. I guess that's the advantage of having a two-row versus a three-row crossover or SUV that allows you to have more room for the rear passengers. And before we get in, let's listen to the sound of the closing door. Pretty solid, and don't worry, we're going to do it again from the inside. And let's check it out. This is very similar to what's going on in the back. In addition, we have two memory seat settings, window mirror lock controls, and here we can also power folding. The mirrors, more storage at the bottom, and a speaker. Toyota Crown on the door sill, power, uh, power seats, and then the seats, this is how they look like. So we have some tubing on the sides, we have some stitching, we have some perforation and solid. This is all, of course, that man-made leather, they call it soft tax. A tilt and telescoping on the steering wheel, that's a manual adjustment, nothing crazy going on in the pedal box. Let me jump inside, I'll show you the rest of it. Ready? Boom. Well, that's how it sounds from the inside, also solid. Let's hit that power button over here. Let's make sure that we get some air conditioning going on. Now let's go over some of the features of this brand new vehicle. So this is how the interior looks like. 
We have the 12.3 inch screen as far as your infotainment system, the fully digital instrument cluster. Let's take a look right on the side here. We have the vans. I like the design of it. Uh, this is kind of this bronze trim. This is not polished aluminum. It fits really nicely with this brown color of the interior. We have the speaker up on top. There's no uh, badging on the speaker. So if you go for the uh, uh, for the uh, limited model, you're going to get the JBL. This one is a standard stereo system. The steering wheel, okay, pretty standard steering wheel. It's thicker in the right places. We have some contrast stitching. Toyota logo in the middle. This is what's going on in the instrument cluster. You also have your volume control, voice control, seek track mode. And here's your cruise control and adaptive cruise control. I believe these are the region buttons instead of the pedal shifters as it doesn't have gears. And let's see this instrument cluster. We went over this. Basically, you can customize settings and you can see some of this uh, safety. So lane departure assist, blind spot monitoring, pre-collision -pre sensing. You have the PDA, rear cross traffic alert. You have the C. Again, this is the safe entry or safe entry alert i think that's what it's called uh, the sign recognition and then we have the vehicle settings and the meter settings and let's hit the meter settings right there okay we can select what's going on as far as the settings either in the left middle or the right and there's several options for each of them so definitely lots of customization we already went over it through in this infotainment or the instrument cluster in several different vehicles so here's your ev ratio eco score fuel economy blank that's what you can set up in here audio navigation and back to ev ratio if you go to the right hand side you have the drive info driving support blank all wheel drive see where the power is going to tire pressure energy monitor trip a and back to drive info and here in the middle you have blank driving support map settings messages and back to blank so depending on what you like you can definitely customize it to your liking now this is the newest infotainment system software for toyota and um, i'm gonna hit english we're not gonna set it up so we're gonna cancel that and yes I think I've done it a few times. As far as the navigation, we only have the option for the cloud-based navigation system, but you can also connect your Android Auto Apple CarPlay wirelessly to this if you prefer using that. As far as the media, you have the FM, AM, Sirius XM. You can, of course, stream it through your phone as well. As far as the vehicle settings, you have the climate comfort, trip information, energy flow, vehicle alert, energy flow. For most of the hybrid vehicles, you're gonna see that. See where the power is coming from and where it's going and then you have your settings um, right now we're in the guest mode but you can set up your own profile personal info bluetooth devices general notifications display sound media voice search vehicle customize illumination i wonder if it has any uh illumination on the inside i can't see it right now in this bright light door control boarding and exit custom drive mode that's where you can uh, change the powertrain steering or air conditioning and the choices are sport normal and eco that's basically where you're drive modes are uh, and uh, let's uh, move it to reverse let's see the rear view camera oh. basic camera but good quality you have the trajectory lines they move around you can select of what's displayed or not displayed and then there's different angles here as well so this is your rear view camera down here at the bottom you have two vents you have the heated and ventilated seats again standard equipment on this vehicle dual zone climate control you also have the heated steering wheel and uh, some shortcut buttons for your climate control settings now here's your wireless charging pad you stick your phone inside of here and then uh, two usb type c ports a bit more storage two cup holders so typical two toyota and lexus hybrid uh, switch basically the drive shifter basically uh, we've seen it starting with the old generation Priuses and kind of left it like this we have the traction control EV mode brake halt parking brake different drive modes let's see what we have so we have custom sport normal and eco those are your drive modes and I'm gonna leave it in sport for our driving impressions of this vehicle moving up on top here is uh, your home link system 
Uh, you don't have the digital mirror. I believe that might be the option. There's no sunroof on this one. As far as the lights, we have the LED lights. Uh, this is the camera. It has been installed by the Southeast Distribution Center. So it's not necessarily coming from Toyota, but uh, here in Southeast, we have another uh, layer of options, basically. And illuminated mirror, illumination is up on top. And that's what we have on the interior of this 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. Well, let me know what you think about it. But now let's talk pricing and take it for a spin. Well, of course, before we take it for a spin, let's talk about pricing for this 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. Now, the XLE is the base model starts at $43,590 and then the Limited starts at $47,990. And the Limited is going to get you the bigger wheels, the better stereo, the JBL stereo, as well as the panoramic sunroof, among a few other things. So if that's important to you, you might want to choose that. Now, as far as the drive of it, let's check it out, guys. I like the way it feels. It feels very plush and luxurious on the interior. And we have this empty parking lot. We're gonna do several tests here and take it on the road. One of the tests that I always do is uh, the turning test. See how tight this vehicle is. All right, turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and make a circle. All right, it feels good. Turning not bad that's 194 inches long as a reminder suspension feels super soft let's actually do something here let's move it side to side all right which mode am i in that was a custom mode actually i'm gonna switch it to the sport mode see if that changes anything yeah it's still very floaty if you will um, so definitely as far as cornering, you know, it's not going to be as sporty feel on it, uh, but I bet you when you get it to the cruising speed, it's just going to float. That's what it does. Let's see the acceleration. I like that actually. It's about seven seconds, zero to 60, if that's important to you. I mean, that's comparable with the other uh, two row SUVs. And as I mentioned before, it's really hard to put it in the same category as, you know, basically anything else on the market. I mean, a lot of uh, uh, publications put it in the same category as a Honda Pilot just because it is a, a Turo SUV, maybe, maybe Mazda CX-70, but those are more of an SUV. This is more of a crossover, and so just slightly different feel. Then uh, I've seen somebody else compare it to the Hyundai Santa Fe, uh, but that's a three-row SUV so that's again that's going to be a different feel this is more of a station wagon feel and this is good because this is the really the only thing in its class that's going to be compared to and if you like that more luxurious feeling that more Lexus like style as far as the drive of it you're definitely going to love that uh, the engine seems powerful enough. We're going to check that out on the road in just a little bit, but it seems powerful enough. Uh, it, you have plenty of space, both front, back and cargo. If you're not a large family, then don't need that third row seat and you like taking road trips in style and comfort, that this could be a perfect solution for you. Merging in traffic. Nice and quiet. You can feel a bit of that engine while accelerating, but it's not very obtrusive. So feels good on the road. Again, my personal opinion, I would like the suspension to be a little bit stiffer. Just I feel like I'm more in control of a vehicle when it does that. And uh, this one seems too floaty on the road, like the old Cadillacs used to be, if you will. And in uh, terms of acceleration, let's go. It's got plenty of oomph to get you in traffic. No problems here. We get it up to about 52, 53 miles per hour. Uh, no issues. I read in uh, one of the publication that they didn't really care for the acceleration. I think it's very adequate to this vehicle. I don't have any issues with it. It's definitely not a sporty feel, uh, but I think that's more in terms in the suspension than, than the engine itself. 240 horsepower, 
I think it's plenty. Definitely, I think has a place in the marketplace. I think they've done a great job designing this. It, it feels super nice and super comfortable. It, it almost feels like a luxury vehicles, which that's what they were aiming for, that luxury buyer that didn't want to really step up and go for Lexus. Yeah, it's not cheap. Okay. It's starting price at uh, about $45,000, $49. So definitely more expensive uh, than a larger starting point for the Tura uh, Grand Highlander. And it is much larger also than and more expensive than the Toyota RAV4, but it kind of sits in between them. Uh, giving you that more upscale, that more luxurious feel that uh, you really don't get from either the Grand Highlander or or the RAV4. So another great product from Toyota. The CEO once came out and said, no more boring cars. And I think they listened. They definitely delivered because one after another, Toyota is coming up with some great design on their trucks, pickup trucks, SUVs, etc. Now we have this, a completely different class of a vehicle. Let me know what you think about it. What do you like about it? What you don't like about it and why? I'd love to hear your comments. I try to respond to all of them and help me grow the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of Met the Car Guy family. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.